Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play of Orcs and Men. I am Zexor hosting. This is part 16 in the series. In the last part, we finished leaving um, the pass, and it turns out that Styx sold us, sold our Kyle up the river. Huh. So he got basically put into bondage, and I don't know, I don't remember how long it sounded. It sounded like he'd been here for a little while, maybe a couple weeks or something. Anyway, and so now. Uh, we're here in a place called uh, the Row, which is inside an air, like a larger area called the Mire, and um, and we basically had to like we were put in here. It's gladiatorial kind of style of stuff, right? So we were put in here and had to fight a bunch of uh, frenzied goblins, for example, and uh, we have to basically try to get through this. And uh, I don't know how much we have to do or whatever. We have to try to survive in one way or another. I'm not really sure, so... My guess is, if I tab... No, I can't I can't switch to him. He just, like, goes with me. So unlike before, where I can control sticks as well, I can't control him. I basically just have my, uh, my own stuff, and that's it. That's where the Frenzied Goblins came out. Looks like it's a dead end. Um, so we'll head this way. Is there a map even? There is a map of what way I can go to try to get out. So Styx, you'll notice, is not here with us. Our Kyle is here. That's where we're playing. No merchant, no NPCs. Our objective over here, win the row, is over here. So basically we're going to travel and fight as we go and hopefully get to the end of the row. So we'll, we'll see how this works. How well or poorly this works, right? He's he is he with me? I guess he's just kind of watching my back. I guess. All right. Well, more pause. All right. What are you scavenger? All right. I don't know what that is, but okay. Let's do this. Let's do scavenger. You scavenger looks tougher. Hang on. Scaven. Where are you scavenger? You look tougher. Let me offensive charge to you. And then I'll do sweeping. Uh, and we'll do a five and a three again. All right. And we'll go three, three. Three, three, I think. This will be, let's see rages. So now they're just all dead. Rage goes away. That's good. Huh. Huh. Ah, boy, okay. So they were in there. Can I even go in these? Yeah, but it's just a place where they were all being held. So, okay. I, was, I don't imagine in the row I will find any, right? But I guess I should be making sure I'm not missing any, you know, shiny crates, right, that I can loot. But I'm guessing I just won't have anything, right? I mean, I don't even have my better weapon now. What I've got... He's pretty crap, right? So what is so this? No object. He just, I mean, he's literally holding one, I guess, in the in the the animation. But basically, he has nothing, no armor, nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything I can loot yet. It probably won't be at least until I get out of the row, or at least until I win the row. I'm assuming. But I will look and try to make sure I don't miss anything. Hey, that's awesome. Let me through further. Hey, where my buddy? You come here. Am I running too fast for you? Maybe, maybe he's like all worn out, and so he's tired, so he really doesn't go any further. I don't know. Cutscene. Uh oh, probably means a big battle. Oh yeah, we fight two orcs now. That's nice. Okay. For you, I'm going to do a, a five, one, 
five four. I think. Cancel these. Let's do your rage release. And then we'll do uh, power. Oh, there we go. It's a three, three shot thing, I guess. Alright. So the other dude died, huh? Yep. He got clobbered once and was done. Sucks to be him. Alright, well, what's up here? I guess this is the way I need to go, huh? Because it looked like that was pretty much dead end and they don't go past. Alright, mate, let me make sure I'm not missing anything down here. I don't think, I didn't see anything. Let me double check. Just be extra sure. Yeah, okay. So we take out the two wardens and still nothing, so we just come out. Okay. I do think it's kind of cool in the story, right? Styx was all apologetic. He basically was like, uh, you know, he, he, I don't know about right away after he did it, right? But later on, he, he regretted his decision to sell out Arkyle. He's like, he's like, I shouldn't have sold him out. It's one of the things I can't take back in my life that I really regret. Which is cool. Shows he has, he's, he has some kind of level of humanity. He's not just self-serving. More behind me, huh? Well, that's awesome. All right, well, it's getting more challenging. Okay, hang on. And he's gonna shoot at me also. Uh. Maybe he's not. Oh, there's sticks. sticks. Nice. So sticks is gonna help him. Sweet. Talk about a pile of shit. How'd you end up in the row so fast? Couldn't keep your big mouth shut, huh? <laughs> That's cool. I got you through, but you just had to complicate things, didn't you? All right, so let's so sticks. You are going to let's see. Hang on, I guess I should. Yeah, you'll go this way first. Pause. Okay, so now you do three. Uh, no, no, no. Hang on. Cancel. Cancel that. You hit him with a five. And then do three, three, three sticks. You, in the meantime, do four, five, four, five. Okay. Shut the fuck up, Rakesh. You can tell me all about it when we get out of here. What? Why? Oh. Because I still got. You still, like, set to do that. And you. Him to do three. Oh, he's raging. Two eight for that. Okay. Now you're welcome. Always happy to save your ass. Apparently, I can't. Cancel, cancel. Back up. Pause. Okay. So you do him. Okay. Want you low blow. Strike. And this is flying daggers. Yeah. And then low blow again, I think. Okay. Oh wow, that's not good. He's gone, really? Uh, 
bad, bad, okay, bad, 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 bad. Cancel this. You are going to help him up if you can. Now, plus zero. Pause, pause, pause. Now you do zero as well. It's also zero for you? Yeah, zero. And then I guess four, three, three. Jeez. That didn't last very long, did it? There's one that's got... Yeah, you've got, like, nothing, right? Let me throw a four at you. Finish you off. Okay, so there's one one fewer to hit me. Now, cancel this. You run back. If I can. Ah. Pause. Zero. Pause. Ah, uh, okay. Ugh. All right. Do a zero also, or Kyle. And then do three, three, uh, and do, th yeah, three, 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 three. Okay. okay and you, uh, hit him, four. Him with five. Oh no, hang on. Ah, you gotta run again. Alright, hang on. Pause. Keep coming. And now go away. Zero. And then, yeah, you keep, you'll keep going, actually, Sticks. I'm gonna move away. Pause. Right. Hit the warden with four, five, four, five. Thing is, you can't hit back on this. Uh, okay. Whoop. So he's down again, huh? <laughs> All right. Ow. Zero. Ah. Uh, zero. Zero. Come up. All right. Hang on. And then our Kyle. All right. First order of business for our Kyle is zero, I guess. Hang on. Tab. Zero, I should say. Zero. Right. Jeez. It doesn't last very long, does it? Cancel this. Do zero. And then three, three, three. Wait till it gives me sticks. Pause. Jeez. Alright. Cancel this. Zero. 
Pause, pause, pause. Tab, yeah, pause. Alright. Cancel this. Zero. Between the two of them, they got out. Or they survived, that's nice. Alright, so. <laughs> Alright, so that's heading back, not the way we want to go. Okay. So now we'll go this way. Man, it took a bit of a clobbering there, but uh, made it. That's good. Save it if I can. Y'all. Okay. Oh, she was gonna save right after. Well, whatever. That's fine. Pause. You. Go clobber. Three. Oh no, wait, hang on. Dude, which is your charge? Uh don't have a number for it. That and then cancel that one. Hang on. Dude, no. Ah. Keep <laughs> this one. There we go. Now you do then you're gonna go three, six, three, not six. Ah. I suck. Okay, three, five, three. There we go. And then six is going to Scavenger with four five four five. Send more goblins. More goblins. All right. <laughs> You attack the scavenger with the charge again. Actually, hang on. You have a health thing, don't you? Is this... What one's the one that heals you? This one. This one, right? Do that. And then... Charge. Swing, swing. You... Are going to hit that same scavenger. Four, five, four, five. Six, one, one, three.
Oh man, suck. Because I'm already damaged, right? He's already damaged unless after the cutscene he's not, maybe. Oh, he's not after the cutscene, that's good. Alright, well, do six, no, not six, I keep doing that. Five, four, five, two, and sticks. You, I don't know. Do, how about you move away, sticks? Pause. How about I do this? Cancel this. And sticks will just stink and run. We'll just run. Try to keep them off of Arkyle while Arkyle beats his guy down. Uh, that's not working. He's berserk. So, okay. Specifically, two, uh, I keep doing six, five, two, five, and you, uh, yeah, just keep running, I think, you can. You're going to need to pause zero. Pause tab. Hit him with a two. This guy here, two, 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 two. Cancel that. You 
charge, cancel that, charge, and then two, two, uh, two, five, two, we'll say. And you turn around and hit him with four, five, four, five. King of the arena, meet the resistance. Sweet. The Row has a new winner, my friends. It's been a long time since anybody did this, Bloodjaw. Congratulations. You're a truly exceptional warrior. And your goblin is surprising. A valuable ally, from what I can see. <laughs> Look at how everyone adores you, brother. Listen to them cheer you. You are Imperial. Imperial, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bloodjaw's too proud to speak to me, huh? So much the better. You're sparing me the shit animals like you puke up every time you open your mouths. You're lucky they enjoyed the show. You earned their respect. But in this place, I call the shots. I've seen others just like you. You want to prove you're an unbeatable orc and cause chaos in my territory. But the crowd won't protect you forever. Go on! Settle them into the cleaning quarters! That should sort them out. Apparently they're not going to worry about disarming sticks. He's there with a bunch of daggers and they don't worry about disarming him at all. <laughs> I'm not complaining that he has his daggers, but realistically be honest. Then again, our Kyle has a random just no nothing club, so whatever. I think we're far enough already. Nobody will be able to see or hear you here. Yeah, I noticed. And what were you hoping for? To take us out? Now nobody's looking? Not scared your trap's gonna turn on you? It's not a trap. I am Odek, son of Eok and Asher of the Scum of the North. The Resistance is expecting you. Come on, I'll take you to a safe place. Your equipment's there, Bloodjaw. Hey, you! Not so fast! How do we know you're really with the Resistance? He introduced himself using our codes. He wouldn't bring up clan and family if he was going to tarnish them with lies and treachery. Oh, of course. How stupid of me. It's not like you can just make up names like that. By the way, I'm Styx, son of the Grand Inquisitor, and Dame Gertrude of the Flaming Stick in the ass. Now, we know each other, I hope you'll never doubt me again, and you'll be kind enough to swallow everything I spit at you, forever. I don't expect a goblin to understand the honor codes of the orcs, or any other honor codes, I might add. But hold your tongue all the same, Rakash, if you don't want to end up like your clan. And then what happens? Barman wants to meet you in person. You'll know more than me soon. Your victory sent out a strong signal to everybody. The pace should start picking up now. I'm supposed to know him? Not officially. He's a very influential human. His connections with the Orcs and the Resistance have to be kept 100% under wraps. We owe him everything here. <sighs> We're right behind you, Adek. Sticks is like, okay, I guess. Whatever you say, dude. 
Sticks is one to talk, though. Like, how do we know we can trust him? Hello, you betrayed our Kyle. <laughs> Dork. See? Well, whatever. It's fine. I don't say anything. We're there. Here, you're safe to rest. Nice place. And your resistance is where? At work, mostly. This place is a headquarters, not a barracks. Everyone's a slave in the mire. Got anything to fight with? We're getting ready. The boxes there are full of weapons. We've been stocking up since we started this hideout. Some have been stolen, but it's dangerous. We don't want the prison warders to go looking around here. Most we go with Barman's gold. Is there a black market here? <laughs> that would be too easy. But no. The Empire has complete control in the mire. And they come down hard. Brethren are executed every day. Beaten to death. Or sent to the road to die in public. The head foreman is in command around here. And like you saw, even though he's a greenskin, he's worse than the croissant. He's the one who gets weapons from the Imperials, so he can keep his thumb on us. I keep the wheels greased so a few things break each time there's a delivery, and they get stored here. Being a prison warder is a good cover. And Barman, what does he want from me? I can't stay here forever. I came looking for a mage called Arkens. I know your mission is critical, Arkai. Believe me, you can't do it without Barryman. I'll tell him you've arrived. It'll probably take him a few hours to get here. For now, just take it easy. You're making one of those faces, Ark. I mean, even worse than usual. Mm. Oh, come on! I couldn't tell you in front of the caravan driver, and you'd have never gone for the idea of letting yourself get captured. I had to get you across somehow, buddy. You say to yourself, someone can't disgust you anymore. And then he proves you wrong. Okay, Ouch. fine. I'm not forcing myself on anybody. I'll leave you alone if you really can't take me. Just get somebody to pay me and then I'll get out of this shithole. I'm not talking about you, Rakash. You fought like an orc today. I met my father, Marlock. He's here, in the mire. And he's why I ended up in the fucking row. Oh, man. What's the deal with you and your old man? How'd it get like that? He dishonored the Red Breath and sold his tribe to the Empire. Really? Sold? The whole tribe? We were surrounded, besieged, and just when we were getting ready to die with honor, he told us to lay down our weapons. He was the chief of the tribe. We had no choice. Had to do what he said. Uh, you mean he prevented a massacre? That may have been the best way to go, don't you think? You just don't get it. An orc lives on his own two feet. The soldiers had us on our knees, humiliated, broke our weapons. Okay, okay. And now your father is kissing the archivist's ass, if I got that straight? I see the problem. I want him dead, and I want to see his eyes when he feels it coming. Slowly. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty bad. But we're already in deep enough shit here. Gotta concentrate on your mission if you want to have a chance to see it through, right? Don't worry, Rakash. I won't need you to kill the Emperor. Soon you'll be able to get out of here and spend your money at the tavern. Ha! Huh. I hope so. We should go see your boyfriend, Attic, to find out where we're at. I'm starting to get bored. 
Okay, so that's going to be this part. This has been Let's Play of Orcs and Men, part 16. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like the vid if you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next part. Until then, hasta la vista.